Hi, and welcome to this 3D Experience World 2021 presentation. My name's Tom, and I work for DriveWorks Limited, and we're based in the UK. Today, you're going to be learning about how you can save time with DriveWorks Express, the free design automation tool inside SolidWorks. So first things first, let's answer the question, what is DriveWorks? So DriveWorks is a design automation and sales configurator tool for SolidWorks. So what DriveWorks allows you to do is take a custom, same but different design and automate the creation of new variations of your SolidWorks parts, assemblies and manufacturing drawings based on the inputs from your sales configurator. So today we're primarily going to be looking at the design automation aspect of DriveWorks and more specifically how DriveWorks Express can get you started with design automation. So now that we know what DriveWorks is, let's take a look at the design process for a same but different design. So this is the manual process that a design engineer will go through each and every time they design a custom product in SOLIDWORKS. So for this example, I'm gonna be using a pressure vessel, simply because a pressure vessel is a fantastic example of a same but different product. So if you imagine this pressure vessel behind me, it could be longer, it could be shorter, it could have different options, it could have different valves, different flanges. Essentially, there are a lot of things about a pressure vessel that can change. So as a designer, the first thing that will happen in your process is that you're handed some kind of specification document. This document will contain all of the parameters needed to design a new pressure vessel in SOLIDWORKS. After that, you're then going to find an assembly that you've created before that is similar to the design from the spec sheet. After that, we'll then open up a part from that assembly. So once we have that part open, we can start modifying this part. So we'll start by modifying the dimensions. So we'll select the dimensions that need to change, we'll update their values, and we'll carry on doing this process until all of the dimensions that we need to change have been updated. Once we've finished with the dimensions, we'll move on to the features. So you can see here that we've got a sort of bracket feature selected. And we may need to delete this feature from the design, we may need to unsuppress it, we may just need to modify it. And again, we'll repeat these steps for all of the features that need to be changed. So once we've updated the features and the dimensions, we can then go on to update the material. Perhaps this new pressure vessel is going to be used in a different application to the previous one, so we need to update the material that is being used. Once we've done the material, we can then start manually filling in some custom properties. So things like the date that the design was created, who created the design, that sort of thing. And once we're happy with this part, we can then save it with a new name and in a location that we need the part to be saved. And then we just repeat that process for all of the different parts within our assembly. So we may take the actual pressure vessel itself, we've already done the cage, and any other, other components that need to be updated. Once we've finished the models, we can then move on to the manufacturing drawings, again, updating these drawings for each new part and assembly that we've created. So that's the manual process. This is the process that DriveWorks automates. So when we talk about design automation, we're talking about the automation of the process that we've just looked at. So now we've seen the process that DriveWorks automates, let's take a look at how we can set up a DriveWorks project. So we're gonna be using the four steps to automation to do this. The first step is to capture our design parameters. When we capture a design parameter, we're telling DriveWorks this is a parameter that we want to be able to automate. A design parameter can be lots of different things. For example, a dimension, a feature, or a custom property. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna select the dimension that we want to capture. Once we've selected it, 
we simply give it a name in the driver its task pane and add it to our express project. We then repeat this process for all of the dimensions that we want to be able to capture. So we're going to capture a dimension for the height and we're now going to capture one for the width. Once we've captured all of our dimensions, we're now going to move on to capture a feature. A feature is captured in exactly the same way as a dimension. We select it from the SOLIDWORKS model and then add it to our Drivers Express project. So now that you've captured all of your design parameters, we can move on to the second step of the process. The second step of the process is to create an input form. An input form allows you to specify new products using your Drivers Express project. Input forms are made up of a series of controls that you create using Drivers Express. In Drivers Express, there are lots of different types of controls. For example, we have text boxes, numeric text boxes, drop downs, and check boxes. When we add a new control, we need to give this control a name. This is the name that will appear on your input form. We also need to define what type of control this new control will be. Some control types have extra properties that define how a control will operate. When we've created our controls, we can test out our input form to see how the different controls behave. Now that we've created our input form, we're ready to move on to the third step in the automation process. Step three links our captured parameters from step one with our input forms from step two. We do this by writing rules. Rules are logical statements that determine how our captured parameters are automated based on our form inputs. When we go to build our rules in Dravets Express, the rules are categorized. When we select a rule to build, we're going to use the Dravets Express Rules Builder. The Rules Builder makes building rules in Drivex Express really, really simple. A rule is made up of a logical statement that references our form inputs that will determine how our captured parameters are automated. The background of the Drivex Express Rules Builder will go red when the rule we have built is invalid. This example that we can see here is going to decide whether or not the front lug feature is suppressed or unsuppressed in our final design. The first three steps of the automation process are setting up your Drivex Express project. The fourth and final step is to run your Drivex Express project. You can run a Drivex Express project over and over again to automate as many designs as you need. When we run our Drivers Express project, we first fill out the form created in step two. As we can see here, we're filling in the controls for customer name and order number, and then we move on to the controls that define the model that we're going to automate. So we have controls for cylinder length, diameter and head type. We'll finish off by using the drawn by control that we saw in step two. When we click create, Drivers will take the inputs from our forms and then based on the rules that we built in step three, drive our design parameters that we captured in step one. We can see here that new parts, assemblies, 
and their relevant drawings are being automatically created by DriveWorks. In the DriveWorks task pane, we can see a full report of every step that DriveWorks Express has taken to automate our designs. This report is great for troubleshooting your DriveWorks Express projects. Once DriveWorks has finished generating all of the parts, assemblies and drawings, they will be saved with new file names, again based on rules. Now that we've seen how DriveWorks works, we're going to finish off by looking at some of the benefits that DriveWorks can bring to you as the engineer, your company and also your customers. So one of the major benefits of DriveWorks is that it can speed up your design process. Every new order starts off with an initial inquiry. We then go through the design process that we looked at at the very beginning of this presentation. We can then manufacture our product and ultimately ship that product to our customer. With DriveWorks Express, we can drastically reduce the design time so that ultimately we can get our product shipped to our customers much, much faster. Another great benefit of DriveWorks is the ability to eliminate avoidable mistakes. These mistakes can come when performing repetitive tasks in your design process. Because DriveWorks automates these repetitive tasks, these mistakes can be eliminated. Another type of mistake that DriveWorks helps to reduce are quoting mistakes. And this is because it enables you to validate your form inputs. All of this leads to your time as the engineer being freed up. This allows you to work on new projects, projects that you wouldn't in the past have had time to work on. It also allows you to develop existing products so that you can ship better products to your customers. Finally, the one that we love here at DriveWorks is the more you automate, the more time you have to automate even more. Now that you know all about DriveWorks, I'm going to give you some steps to take after this presentation. Firstly, go and activate DriveWorks Express. This is a really simple process done from within SOLIDWORKS. Once you've done that, go and create an account in our My DriveWorks community. This will give you access to lots of learning resources to help you with your DriveWorks Express projects. And then finally, the best advice that I can give you is to start automating. This way, you'll be able to get access to them benefits that we've just discussed. If you have any questions about this presentation, feel free to message us on the 3D Experience World DriveWorks booth. Thanks again for your time and thanks for watching.